For the first track, you know, the first track has a lot of wonder in it, just in terms of how we actually just developed for that amount of time. I think he plays the first tune for like 20 or 25 minutes, and it doesn't really go up in intensity in the way that you normally associate intensity peaks to go. It's got a kind of a poetic tension in it, and I've always found it uh, a very interesting challenge to try to hold intensity. You know, it's um, as a saxophone player where you're used to normally gathering intensity by getting louder or getting higher or getting more kind of like um, bodily intense to actually play something that actually holds a sense of purpose for that long and doesn't feel like it's boring and doesn't feel like it's um, meandering. It just feels like it's still. It just takes a, a certain psychological place of actually contentment. Um, and that's what I feel like Sphera has on this album. It feels like he's got this sense of purpose where he doesn't need, at least for the first tune, to um, just go crazy. He's got all that intensity and the stories and the mystery all within his saxophone sound. And then for the other two tunes on the album, it's like he finally lets his kind of purpose blossom, you know, and you've got that whole like kind of flower power, that whole joy and optimism in those last two tunes, which I think is a really good arc for an album it really kind of like puts you into a place of bliss and then takes you up into the you know the wider atmosphere 